Welcome to this two, three minute tutorial, hopefully on Skype for Business 2016. This is a quick start, jump start guide to get you going and using the program right away. I'm using Windows 7. I'm going to hit the start button. If you're using Windows 10, you might see a little bit different uh, interface here, but it's the same concept. Uh, you're going to go up to Skype for Business, and if it's not in your uh, programs list, uh, you can certainly type it in and uh, open it up from there. I already have my K-12 credentials cached on here as saved my uh, password. Uh, you will need your username and password, or your email address and password rather, um, as it uses uh, your Office 365 account through the state. And so, um, let's go ahead and get signed in. And I'm up and running. Um, working at the top down, I've got uh, File, Meet Now, Tools, and Help. The Help menu is a great way to uh, answer any questions. Um, quick tips, um, and then any other uh, things that normally wouldn't be covered in, a, uh, in, in this recording. So here I've got my availability, and this is great if you're going to be you know, away. If you're automatically uh, like away from your desk and you forgot to you know, change this to be right back or whatever, it, uh, it tells you that, it's, uh, that you're not active, and so that's kind of a nice feature. Um, you can also change the status, kind of like, hey having fun today or maybe that hey I'll be out at 2 today maybe uh so people can see that you're going to you're going to be out so moving on um I've got my contacts conversations which uh we'll get into a little bit later and then meetings and we'll get into that a little bit later if I want to find someone um let's find Sandy now I typed in Sandy and because this is the state K-12, it does find, ooh, look at that, it's pretty good. Uh, it guesses at Sandra Henry, so uh, San, Sandra Henry, sorry about that. And I want to right mouse click on her. I want to, I either can send her an instant message right away. I can call her, start a video chat if I've got a, a laptop with a webcam, send an email message, schedule, all sorts of crazy stuff that you can do in here. The, the biggest thing is I want to add to contact lists, and I've already created some lists uh, already. I'm going to go into other contacts. And oops, put her in the wrong one. Um, I can create or add contacts here or create a new group. And I've already added groups here. And so I want to drag Sandy right down into the curriculum area. I've got Anne and my, uh, my favorites for now because I didn't have anything prior to that. And so I'm going to actually move her down. She's still a favorite. But I'm going to move her into curriculum as well. That way I can have um, uh, this sorted out. The nice thing is, is that if I want to send an instant message with this whole group, is that I can. I can right mouse click on here and send an instant message. And I've added these people already in the conversation. Now it says three participants, myself included. And so from here, the instant messenger, uh, you can shrink it up or go back and forth. The video chat, call. This is a great feature too. I can present. And if I'm going to give, let's say, a PowerPoint or uh, some PD, I can give it right over here. And people who are participating can instant message to give feedback throughout the, uh, the presentation. Um, if I click on present, uh, I believe the options, and I'd, I'm going to go to someone safe that I haven't uh, messed with yet today. Uh, let's go to D. If I click on present, it'll ask me what I want to do. Present desktop, which is a great feature. Programs, uh, something I want to you know, highlight specifically. Uh, stay in the program specific. Present a PowerPoint file. Co-author an Office document, which is an incredible uh, feature to use. Add an attachment, which you can do right from in here. Share notes, uh, take a look at my notes, and, uh, and even more. So. The big thing is, is if I wanted to give PD over this, I'm going to be able to uh, start a conversation. I am going to need some special hardware. I will need a like a headset type of deal to plug in our uh, computers or some kind of audio device that's a decent audio device that I can speak with that people can hear me clearly. Um, people on the other end in a district, if they're using desktops, they might want to use like a headset, uh, uh, headphones to use. And so... Uh, that way, uh, the little speaker on the computers, uh, I don't know, we'll cut it. So, other than that, you can change the priority of the conversation, um, change the font of the conversation, that way you know who's who, um, and then also change the size. 
recordings, I haven't gotten that set up yet, and so we'll have to take a look to see if that's an option for us. But um, I'm going to close this out. The conversation history of what I've already done. Great thing is, is that uh, here I can look in Outlook. It saves it all in Outlook for me. And so here's my conversation history. And uh, where is that? Conversation history is in my uh, in my inbox or part of my part of my inbox type of deal. So when I go in here, I can see a threaded transcript of what's going on. So other than that, um, other nice things that you can do with this, let's go into uh, my calendar. Unless I want to set up a Skype meeting and I want to send it out to a whole distribution group. Let's bring this over here. My two to three uh, minute video is turning into a six minute video, so I apologize. But uh, here I've got a scheduling assistant, which is just the same thing as uh, any other uh, meeting invite from uh, Outlook. But here, if I wanted to join um, like the BCS group, um, if I click on here, here I've got my whole K-12 global address list. So um, you can really pick and choose what you want to do. If you have your own um, distribution lists, um, I would recommend using that first and then kind of go from there. Um, you could have, uh, you can send this out to uh, multiple people and they can distribute that. And if they have the meeting invite, they can click on that and join you for that invite. So and we'll play around a little more with that uh, so we can get a little more fluent with this. But in the meantime, um, you know, I encourage you guys to play around, generate some questions. And uh, if you have anything that uh, I haven't covered, please get a hold of me and let me know. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.